Hey guys, welcome to another video. We kind of went over this in our last video when we did that unboxing for the Slam Attacks box. And today I'm going to do the unboxing for the Mattel Elite British Bulldog. Awesome figure, cannot wait to open it. However, I'm going to do a bonus unboxing while I'm at this too. A little oddball kind of thing, but I figured it could be a lot of fun. The Jax Stomp Series Brian Pillman figure. Uh, loved the Stomp series. Of course, if you're a fan of the Major Pod, you also know the love for Stomp across the board uh, within that uh, set of people. So, going to be pretty cool to unbox this. Package is ravaged, so you may as well just let it breathe, rip it open. So, we'll get to that one. Uh, but first, we'll go ahead and do Davy Boy. Uh, like I said, this is the newest one from the Mattel Elite line. This one is... I believe it's a Target exclusive, could be wrong. Um, but man, when I saw this, instantly jumped all over it. Had to have it. Um, I was always a big fan of the British Bulldogs team with him and Dynamite. Uh, also loved, you know, when, when Davey was with the Heart Foundation too. So that was a lot of fun uh, in those iterations. Was not as big of a fan of his work uh, in WCW in the later years. And the later years, of course, we also know um, if you know anything about the backstory with Davy Boy. There, there was an injury he suffered uh, from that trap door in the ring uh, from that pay per view that they had set up for the Ultimate Warrior to come through. So uh, there was that. So box is empty. There you go. Goodbye. So first, let's go ahead and look at it inside the bubble, a little less hindered by the packaging. Got him. I believe that's been told, I could be wrong, but uh, pretty cool. Uh, I love the way they package this thing. Honestly, you could sit on a display and be just as awesome that way too, without even unboxing it. Uh, of course, this is back, got all the deco on the tights. Great colors, really pop, love it. Uh, even got the, the long hair with it. And of course, you got the, the regular hands, um, and of course, what's referred to as the dog walking hands that so you can hold the leash uh, for Mattel. So let's go ahead and get this thing out. We've got all these fun little tie downs that are in here. Uh, I guess they just recently started doing this. I don't remember seeing these prior, but I could be wrong. You open so many toys, you tend to forget, you know, the packaging type for some of these things. So. Get him pop loose. However, I do at least like that the ties are just they're almost rubbery, so you can stretch them a little bit and just snap them out rather than having to struggle to untwi you know, twist it and untie it. Alright, so Davy Boys out. Freedom. No longer bound to the confines of the package. And of course, like I said, there's the hands that come with it. Just closed fist, no biggie. And then of course the hands that he has uh, fresh out of the pack are the open hands for holding the leash. So there's that. Let's get old Matilda out here. All right. So there you have it. Cool little leash apparatus. I like it. Pretty smooth. It's got a little little hook on it right there that kind of swivels. So you can you know, have a little more flexibility when it comes to posing it and setting it up in your display. Uh, as always, it's an it's an elite, so the articulation on this thing is pretty great. You know, torso movement's not bad. It's um, a little loose going back. Otherwise, though, it's not also too tight, which is sometimes a concern with those. Uh, the knees bend pretty well, unlike some of the basics where they just I mean, you really got to crank on them to bend the knees. Uh, give you an example. I'd recently gotten the green basic. Roderick Strong, beautiful figure for basic. I mean, I think it looks great. Um, you know, all the deco on the back of the tights and everything. Head scan's great. I love Roddy's head scan. I mean, it's just, um, it's just terrific. It's, it looks awesome, real clean. However, as with all basics, the knees, I mean, man, you gotta freaking crank on these things to get any kind of bend out of them. You know, and when you're doing that, you're so afraid you're gonna break it uh, that you almost don't want to bother. Uh, so it's definitely nice to have uh, the knee joints that move a little more freely. They're not too loose either, because um, you do sometimes run into that. And uh, this figure, um, fortunately, 
none of the joints seem real loose, except for, like I said, the torso there, you know, that back side of the pivot. It seems a little bit loose, but um, nothing too terrible. Uh, but yeah, man, I mean, dude, look at him. He is jacked to the nines, brother. Look at that. Oof. Killer. Love the head scan on this thing, too. Beautiful head scan. My camera would focus on it rather than me. That'd be terrific. No, not going to happen. Okay, so um, there we have it. Bulldog. Uh, beautiful figure, man. I love it. It feels good. Paint's clean. The colors pop. Uh, the leash, you know, literally you just go bloop right in the hand. And then there you have it. It just walks along and we'll even use the Pillman display. Pillman package here to kind of show how well it looks when you've just kind of got it on a flat surface. I can get it. I mean, look at that. It's it's just awesome. I really dig it. Love it. Beautiful, beautiful figure. Bang up job, Mattel. Um, I tend to have issues with Mattel sometimes uh, with some of their choices for character designs and also some of the issues with just general design flaws, kind of like with the basics and the knees. Um, but otherwise, man, some of these basics, man, they just knock them out of the park. And, and this is definitely no exception to that. So bang up job Mattel on British Bulldog. So there's that. All right, now let's go ahead and do our classic retro package uh, opening, which is going to be this stomp. Brian Pillman. Uh, for you younger viewers, you may not know who Brian Pillman is unless you watch AEW and you see his son, Brian Pillman Jr. on the program, who is outstanding huge huge for uh brian pillen and junior fan um i love the the tag team he's in uh with griff garrison i think they're gonna do really great things a lot of you know good baby face fire to them and i i really dig their work uh but let's look at the back of the packaging here kind of shows some of the other stomp figures in the set and of course some of the other uh signature series uh bone cruncher era figures as well as well as the ring there um, I'm not sure if maybe a proof of purchase or something, a bio card or something is maybe supposed to go there, but it is, um, it is blank scale, actually. Maybe there's a sticker covering it. I mean, it feels like a sticker. I'm not sure why you would just put just a plain black sticker over it, but yeah, well, it's not coming off. So whatever it is, doesn't matter because we're just going to rip her open. Boom. 1997. There you go. That's a uh, that's an oldie, man. That, whew. yeah, that's a 20 plus year old air right there. If you ever smelled it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But man, it is so satisfying to open something like this. All right, so out of the bubble, there he is inside the setup. Pretty cool looking figure. I mean. Yeah, obviously it's kind of cartoony, but a lot of the Jax figures from that time and era were that way, so uh, you kind of had to expect it. Uh, but a lot of the accessories with it. Let's just pop old Brian out here. <clears throat> See if we can get all his stomp gear on him. Get him suited up for action. Love that rifle. Pretty cool. Great color. Giant. Not, no, a nice play. What a cold knife. You get the Crocodile Run Dundee reference, good for you. If not, I do apologize for being old. All right. So, um, the armor plating pieces for the stomp figures are literally just one-sided. I mean, that's it. You just snap it on the front, and then you just pop it off when you're done. Uh, it's not like, um, you know, two pieces that have, like, a little post on each side and a, you know, female, you know, part on the other side to pop it into. So, one-sided, which I mean, it still looks good on your display, so it doesn't matter, nobody's gonna see it from behind. Uh, however, if you do have a weird, you know, display where you can kind of 360 all your figures, uh, that might um, pose a bit of a display issue. Uh, but otherwise, though, the attachments, they, they, they snap on, they're pretty snug. Uh, not a whole lot of give or budge on them, so you don't have to worry about them just flying off. And there we go, red boots. Black jacket, pretty awesome. See if we can get the knife in the hand. That fit pretty well. Get our gun ski over here. And that doesn't fit too bad. Um, you can actually get the 
trigger finger through the hole there, uh, which will kind of help support it a little bit. Otherwise, you probably want to put it in this hand uh, where I have the knife currently. Uh, nope, and even that didn't hold very well. So maybe, maybe you're just going to put it over here and let them just kind of hang down with it. Or, you know, I'm sure there's some way to pose it, but yeah, there we go. Otherwise, that is the Brian Pillman. Oh man, if I could just quit dropping all the accessories. Okay, well, I guess we're just gonna go without the gun because that thing just disappeared. Who do you need on me? So there's Brian Pillman's stomp figure. Pretty cool, beautiful, classic. Um, old school jacks right there. Um, not too pretty to face, but let's be honest, around that era of Pillman, he was kind of scruffy looking anyway, so uh, it, it is kind of uh, appropriate. So there we go. Today's review, Brian Pillman stomp figure and British Bulldog Mattel Elite figure. Um, so there you go. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys tuning in and checking out this unboxing today. Catch me next time. I got more unboxings coming up as well as card pack openings. Uh, hopefully some Hero Clicks openings will be coming up pretty soon as well. Uh, the Wonder Woman uh, anniversary set will be coming out pretty soon, and I know I will be getting a brick of those, so I will be doing an unboxing uh, of that uh, once those are available for me to pick up. So thank you for checking me out. Remember to follow me on Instagram at Collecting Raj for additional pictures of some of this stuff as well as other things I don't really film videos for. And also remember to share, subscribe, and like the channel. Uh, like I said, it's a new channel. Uh, I'm aware that, uh, you know, everybody starts somewhere, so this is my attempt at starting, and hopefully we can just kind of pile on, build on, and we can kind of add on to it and, and maybe get a little bit of a community, or even if we just get a small fan base here of just collectors and people enjoy these kinds of things, um, I'm more than happy to uh, do that kind of thing as well. As, as you can see, the toy room behind me, this is my office slash toy room, um, at some point, I'll probably go through and be doing individual figure reviews on some of the stuff in here as well as maybe even do a full tour of the room. So just, you know, check back frequently with that. So anyways, thank you guys for joining me and I'll see you next time.